I think it looks fine. I feel like you're having a piece of Mars in my house now. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In these difficult times, um, I actually spend more time at home, like a lot of you guys, I'm sure. And uh, one of my hobbies is 3D printing. And now I have lots of time to do 3D printing. So I have different projects going on, and I thought today I would talk about NASA. I did not know that. I actually discovered recently that NASA, on their website, they have a section on 3D printing. And I did two of the examples or the files they have available. They are also free. You can download them for no charge. So what I did in the past few days is the Copernicus Crater. As you can see here, look at that. One of the well-known uh, craters on the on the moon uh, surface. And you can see in the pictures here, I downloaded from the web, uh, different well-known craters also. There is uh, Plato on the moon. There is also uh, Tycho, as you can see in these images. And uh, Copernicus is one of the uh, best-known crater. It has a diameter of about 93 uh, kilometers. Another file that you can download and print is the famous, and I say famous because this is the, the largest canyon known in the solar system. And this is on Mars. It's called the Valles Marin Marineris. Not sure how to pronounce that, but Marineris. And uh, you can see here, it's not painted at the moment. So it is three files, as you can see. It's like three tiles. One, two, and three if I can go in the right side, one, two, and three. So three tiles, by the way, these take about, um, if I remember, about uh, six hours to print each. Um, the largest known canyon, like I said, this canyon is 2,500 miles long. By comparison, the Grand Canyon in the USA is 500 miles long. This is four miles deep. The Grand Canyon is one mile. This is four miles. The width of the canyon is, uh, if I remember, let me check, 150 miles. The width of the Grand Canyon is about 18 miles, one eight. So huge difference. I mean, this, the day that we are able to go to Mars, I can envision that this will become the tourist site number one on Mars. Maybe I should go and open a booth there to sell the lemonade. But uh, look at that. 2,500 miles long. So this is all white. I printed the crater Copernicus in gray because the moon is gray. So I use gray filament. But I am going to print, uh, not to print, I'm going to paint my my uh, my uh, my tiles here for mars the typical color of the mars soil which is like an orangey uh, red color so i have paint over there so i'm going to paint this i'll try to have some nice shades uh, to simulate the sun shining at an angle because by the way the axis of mars is similar to the axis of earth so the the planet is at an angle like this earth is 23.5 degrees Mars is 25, so it's at an angle like that. So Mars has seasons like we do on, on Earth. So let me paint this, and uh, I'll come back in uh, maybe three days. One day later, I thought I would need uh, three days for like three coats of uh, paint to hide the white, but after one uh, coat, as you can see, I think, it's, I think it looks fine. And look at that. I used a mix of uh, yellow, uh, yellow, orange, uh, red, and light brown, and uh, I just mix the paint together. So as you can see here, I think it's it looks okay. I I feel like having a piece of Mars in my house now. So what I did, as you can see, I did as if the sun was shining at an angle. So these parts are uh, darker, and these parts are lighter, and the peaks are even uh, lighter. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, Valles Marineris, the largest canyon 
known canyon in the uh, in the solar uh, system and of course this was uh, the uh, Copernicus uh, crater on the moon surface so guys let me know in the comments below what you think I think this is a very cool project especially if you like space uh, space stuff you can print a lot more things on the NASA 3D printing website I did not say that at the beginning of the video but you can print the landing sites of the of different Apollo missions uh, which is quite cool so thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye guys